So, where to start? I'm um, I'm dealing my whole life with a um, uh, with a project which is a crossbreeding project, and to explain it a little bit, um, I'm crossbreeding chickens all over the world. That's what I'm actually doing. Uh, in every country, you have a chicken that tells something about the country. So it's kind of cultural product as well, uh, beside uh, a biological product. Product, of course, we know that there is the chicken as a very important ingredient for the food industry. If you know that every time of the day there are 65 billion chickens around the world and uh, 300 billion eggs. Uh, an important part is of course the food industry, but another important part is the medical industry. Um, if you know that um, 90% of all medications, um, there is a substance of egg inside. Or to make combinations who are practically impossible. Or uh, to breed viruses and uh, uh, bacteriums. So knowing that, I always make a statement that if we are taking the chicken and the egg out of our society, it's going to be very complex. Uh, knowing that in China, in South America, in Africa, in India, also North America and Europe, the chicken is the most important uh, food we have. Um, so I think I think if we if we mess with that animal, we have we have a big pro a problem. That's one thing. Another thing is uh, regarding that in every country we make a chicken that tells something about the country. It's also uh, something cultural. I give you an example. In France, we have the uh, the poulet de Bresse, which is red in the head, is white in the body, and has blue legs. So it's the French flag. The Americans made the big, biggest chicken in the world. So you can imagine that um, it's in a way a translation translation of our culture into a living animal. Also, I work with scientists who um, who draw the immigration map through the chicken through the DNA of the chicken, starting from uh, China, uh, going to Africa, um, bringing the immigration uh, into, into Europe, America, you know. It's like, um, it's like there is some kind of symbiosis between, uh, between man and chicken. Let's, let's, let's say it in that way. And that's the strongest one. You can, you can say, okay, there is the dog and there is the cow, but with the chicken is spread everywhere and it's very easy to keep. So that has an introduction of what I'm doing, which, uh, which actually deals with bioculture diversity. And uh, that allows me to say that it is a piece of art. So I started to crossbreed, to select chickens all over the world and to crossbreed uh, a typical French chicken with a French one, with a Belgian one. And I did this the first time on the border between Belgium and France in a very important exhibition. At that time, it was, um, uh, it was Jan Hoot who was curator of that. Jan Hoot was uh, one of the curators who did Documenta in Kassel. Uh, well, there was a very hard statement. And I tell you, I tell you why. Because I, I was not sure that if we are breeding all these races like the French, like the Belgium, it's good for a while, but it cannot survive. And in my statement, I say that crossbreeding is the only way to survive. So sometimes we have to break that kind of frame uh, to become fertile. And this is the statement that I do uh, in all my works. Uh, that's why I'm searching for other professions as well, like uh, scientists, biologists, um, uh, sociologists, you know. and. Um, so the content of my work is always crossbreeding. One of my statements that I make with this is that fertility always has to come from abroad. And I'm very aware of that. I think if a scientist likes to uh, make some kind of evolution, he needs a strange element which is, um, which is turning the things upside down in a way. And with the artist, it's the same. If an artist likes to make evolution, he needs that strange element which turns his world upside down.